Alright, so welcome back to Terraria, we're with Chippy Baggy Trousers on Planet Big Bollocks, and before this episode starts, I just want to quickly say something. On my previous two episodes, there's been a couple people commenting uh, tips and tricks, just trying to help me out, which I really do appreciate, but... I just want to say I have played this game a shit ton, although it may not seem like it during the videos, I do know what's going on, and because I haven't played this game in a few months, maybe in up to a year, I sort of uh, forgot a couple of things, but let me just show you my main character. So here's my main character, I've got um, solar flare armor on, and then I've got all of this shit, you know, I've got the, the solar eruption, and then you've got the, uh, the this laser drill which is quite cool. Basically, you know, I've, I've beaten Moon Lord probably 26,000 times. I was trying to get the Zenith Blade ages ago, and I've beat, you know, Betsy there, the dragon, and then there's all the uh, things from the other bosses. So, you know, I, I, do, I do know what's going on, but there will be some times across this series where I am going to not know what's going on. When those moments come, and I will point them out, that's when I'm going to need some tips. Because there's a lot of this game I forgot. Anyway, there's a lot more to show you because I've done a lot of camera. So let's get back to Chippy Backy Trousers. Alright, so here we are, back on this save. Now, there are a couple things to show you. I'm going to try and get through them quick. Number one, I found an extra life crystal, so I now have 160 health. Number two, I found a brand new weapon, the forceful zombie arm. It is absolutely busted. I also found this tungsten pickaxe, so it's got minus 17 damage, 13 size, and 15 knockback. However, it's a pickaxe, so I suppose it doesn't matter too much. I also found a boomerang, a wand of sparkling... Loads of potions, loads of money, and I also got a bug, um, a bug net. Now you might be wondering, how did I get the bug net? Well, let me show you. I have not only upgraded the gaff, but look, I've got people living here. Yes, I have, I have tenants. They don't pay rent, but I don't care. They help me. So we've got, you know, we've got the nurse, we've got the fisherman, we've got this prick. I hate him a lot. And then we've got the merchant. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? And we've got a furry as well, which I'm not too happy about, you know, as long as they pay rent, I'm not too bothered. And then we also have the die trader. So I've got a lot of new geezers hanging about the gaff. And um, also, I went and crafted another suspicious looking eye, so I can rematch the Isle of Cthulhu. This time, uh, I've got the same bow, uh, but I also have throwing knives and this boomer and a brand new weapon so uh, and of course I got some new armor as well because I did a lot of digging off camera so I've now got a tungsten helmet and chest piece and then some platinum shoes so I feel like we are ready to um oh look I can I can upgrade my boomerang as well why not look at that now I've got an enchanted boomerang so yes, now I'm going to wait until uh, night time comes around again. We're going to rematch the Isle of Cthulhu and then we're going to head all the way to the right side of the map because um, if I go on the map, which is that, there you go. I have actually ran both. You can see how much I've been digging here. Um, yeah, I have gone to both sides of the map. So, we will be going to the beach, and we will be doing a bit of fishing, because I've got a lot of bugs. So, let's wait until night time comes around again. Although, for you, it'll be about half a second. Oh, shit! There's a slime rain! Slime rain! Oh, yeah! Slime rain! It's raining slime! Hallelujah! Oh! And look! Someone else has arrived! I've got a demolitionist in my gaff now! Oh, he's blowing shit up. You alright, geezer? How you doing? You want boomerang bombs? Not really. Let's see what he's selling. Let's, let's see what he's got. What? Oh my, oh my, look at Oh, that's a lot of slimes. Wait, we might, wait. We might be able to fight King Slime. What do you want? Oh, I... No! Ah, oh, I'll talk to him later. I'm busy. Move. Let's try out the boomerang. Wrong one. Boomerang. Oh, shit. Actually, like, comes back to you. I'll oh, piss off. A bit difficult to use. I prefer swinging my arm at them. Oh, I can get so much gel as well. It's raining slime. Oh, this is great. Look at the gel. No, you killed the squirrel, you bastards. You will pay for that. 
You will. Oh, pig slime. Pig slime. Pig slime alert. Beat him up. Oh, my. I got said flying. Beat him up. What is that? Oh, he had money on him. Come here, purple slime. Yeah, get bitched on. What's this? Angry dandelion. What? I've never seen that thing in my life. Oh, someone else has arrived. I didn't even see that. It's a painter. I've got a painter in my house now. This is just a money farm at this point. Oh, I think it's ending. No, it isn't. No, 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 no. We're still in this. We are deep in the mud of the slime rain. Why have you got something in you? Why did that one have, like, something in its slime? That's a bit concerning. It's approaching nighttime as well, so we can basically start fighting Cthulhu. Well, the eye of him. I don't know, what, I don't know why his, his eye is, like, separate from him. From him. And it's his, like, own organism. And there's, like, 20 of them. I don't, I'm not too sure. Look at the money farm this is turning into. I've made two gold coins from this. That isn't a particularly, like, vast amount. But just from these easy slimes, that's quite good. I'm never going to need gel in my life. I do remember that if you want to... You can, like, get a the summoning item for the king slime... Just spawning him in. But uh, I believe for that you need a platinum crown. Which costs five ingots I believe. Um, so I don't have that. And if I did I don't know if I want to spend it on the king slime. I'd rather spend it on like armor or tools. You know what I mean? I still need to get a new axe as well. I might just get a lead one because I've got a lot of lead. Still stuck with the copper one. And I think he um Oh, there you go, there he is. The king slime is inbound. Oh shit, he can teleport! I was not prepared for this. Shoot him! Oh shit! He's missed. Ow, he hits hard. Oh, I need to run. Oh, I need to go. Switch to my throwing knives. There you go. That's that's some good damage. Look at that. Piss off. Excuse me. Can you heal me, please? Thanks, love. Appreciate it. He's in my house. He's in the house. Wait, this is good. Oh, shit. Get out. Run. Flee. Run away. Oh, he spawned on me. I got some health. Right, I need to try and kill his babies. Oh, shit. There you go. Turn around. Oh, he didn't. Oh, shit. I'm out. Give me some health. You're not giving me it. No, wrong one. I, pr I accidentally did that. Oh, shit. I don't have, like, a dash ability, so I'm just going to keep running. What do I do here, then? I'm mudded. Oh. I need to try and get on my thing, but he's here. Oh. That's perfect. Run. Go, 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 go. Run. Excuse me. Can you heal me again, please? Thank you very much. Oh, he spawned on me. Okay, this is fine. This is going well. God, I wish I had some kind of, like, jumping ability. Where's he going? On my head, that's where. Bow and arrow, let's go. We're now going into the desert. He's got 500 health left. This is winnable. That's on my head. Oh, this massively advantages him. Okay, no, we're fine. He should die. I should be able to get him. Shit, water. No. Not the water. Wait, that slows him down as well. That's massive. One. 
Get him! Beat him up! Shit! You should go down any second now! I'm in a crisis! Just die, you fat bastard! He's gone! Yay! I keep my first boss, and it's probably the easiest one, and I still struggled. Ah. Oh. And look at that, what I got. Wait, who's you? Wait, Simon! Wait. Who are you? Bub, 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 bub. I don't know who he is. Right, well, we've done that. Should we go fight the Isle of Cthulhu as well? Why not? I've got time, I think. I'm healed. Uh, let's see. What weapons do I have? I think I have a summoning thing. No, I don't. You just get this out. Uh, I'll get the boomerang, because why not? I'm going to need these healing potions. Uh, and I'm also probably going to need the lesser healing potions as well. So let's get those. And I think that's all I... Oh, look at these. I've got some ninja pants. They're worse. I also got a solidifier, which can craft objects. A slimy... What's that then? Slime gun. A harmless stream of slimes. I got so much stuff from that. Right, so what What was that then? I forgot, I forgot what button I press. I know it summons a slime mount, but I've forgotten the button. Right, we need to do this quick because daylight's going to go away. Right, are we ready to also fight the Isle of Cthulhu? Here we go. Here he comes. And I've taken damage already. But we are, we are off. I want to try and kill his babies because they piss me off. Oh, he's coming close. I forgot to even say I've built this massive boss arena. Look at this. Done a reasonable chunk of his health so far. How much damage does this do? That's actually quite good damage. If I can like try and keep close to him and not take much damage, then this is actually quite good. Look at that damage. And I one-shot the eyes. This is actually quite good. Beat him up! Oh shit. Alright, just bear in mind, I've only lost six health so far. And we've got him about a third of the way. And there's another health if I ever need it. I'm switching back to the bow purely for range. And I feel although it does less damage, I hit more shots. And look, the damage, yeah, this is definitely like, probably about the same, but more accurate. Okay, half health gone. About that, I'd say. Here we go. He's turning into his second stage where he gets pissed. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage here. But I've got my flaming arrows out. And as you can see, he's dying so quick to the fire damage. He could go down here in a second. Go on. Get him. He's got just under 300 health left. 170. 130. And he should... Yeah! He's gone. What a result that is. Two bosses in one episode. I know, again, that is like the easiest boss in the game. But... It's still a nice feeling and fun fact, um, although yes, I have played this game a lot, like I said at the start, I've never actually played this game as a solo, I've always played it with a friend, so that is actually the first time I've beat any boss in this game independently, so that's quite cool, let's see what the rewards are. Oh, look at that. I actually got some Crimtain Ore, which is from the Crimson area. I got the Ida Cthulhu Trophy, and that seems to be about it. I know there are some rarer drops you can get, but that is an absolute W. And now I'm sort of, you know what? I will go fishing as well, because it'll only take about three minutes of the episode, because I'm only going to talk about the highlights of it. But um, what a result that is. The, re the thing is that's really annoyed me is that if anyone ever pointed this out, and I've not seen it, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I didn't even realize I did, but like I was a bit blind to the fact that you can actually do this. So now it shoots flaming arrows, which do, as you can see, two more damage and have fire damage. So 
Bit of an idiot for that one. I do apologize for that. However, Ida Cthulhu's gone. King Slime is gone. Now I'm going to head all the way to the right side, to the coast, and actually do a bit of fishing. It's sort of calm down a little bit because that was a bit of a mental saga really i mean two bosses holy shit i also want to see what this solidifier is because um i didn't actually show you lot down here i went when i was digging i actually found this thing which is called like the extractinator or some bollocks and you put silt or great gravel into it and it turns it into ores and money which is quite cool but i want to see what you craft in this Enchanted Nightcrawler. Wait, I can you I can combine a falling star with my worm to make a better bait. Yeah, go on then. Uh, I, I don't know exactly. Oh, I can make. Oh, I don't think. I think these are new. Yeah, I can make slime blocks. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool actually. Right. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize. Look at that. I've made ten quid from that. Holy shit, where's my money chest? Here's my ores chest. I see I've got a lot of stuff. Um, I think this is the chest with my money in. Yeah. Right. Let's put this Cthulhu trophy up. I kind of... I'm going to put it here for now. But I do want to make a separate room for boss trophies. So we will be doing that as well. Uh, I think all of this I can just... Oh, that's quite fun. Uh, I think all of this stuff I'm just going to bring with me. I don't care too much. And without further ado, let's get to the coastline. Oh, and also, here's my mount that I got. <laughs> it's quite funny. It's a bit slow, but look at the hops. I still don't know if it's... I think it might be just a tad slower. Oh, wait. Wait. I take full damage still. That's a bit shit. Yeah, bun that. I'm just going to run. But that's quite cool. I don't actually know the chances of that dropping. I'll have a look on the way to the coast. Another bit of info that I just... Oh, hello. You're still here. Can't you come with me? You seem like a chill geezer. Um... I only just learnt this, but if you kill 150 slimes during the rain, that's what spawns it in as well. So that's what I must have done. Oh god, face monster! Go away, no one likes you, stink of piss. Thank you. Money! Alright, so uh, just a bit of info on the drop rates of the stuff I got. The uh, This geezer had a 25% chance of spawning in, and that's what I got, so that's pretty cool. Um, and the slime gun... Is a 66% chance. So I got like the not common stuff, like the most common stuff, even though they're still, uh, well, only 25%, which is still quite rare. But then I could have also got a slime hook, which is a weapon. That would have been pretty cool. What did I just take 18 damage from? I have no idea. Ow. I'm sure we'll be uh, fighting the King Slime again at some point. Oh, for fuck! Cook it out! Help! Wait, can I do this? Arm to wait, yeah! Ha ha! See? Okay, right, so it does have some uses. I also want to see if I can grab some more bugs on the way. Oi, this music is so good. Oh, look at that! A dread a, dr a dreid has arrived. I don't know what that means. Isn't that the um the leaf bitch? I think it is the leaf bitch. That's pretty cool. Welcome to the gaff. The rents um 640 quid a month so uh if you can't pay it you're gone mate i'm also probably about to die which is not ideal because i'm only like a half actually i think i'm a bit over halfway but i'm not i'm not close to the coast it'd be a bit of a pissed oh no i'm right here never mind idiot right so i'm gonna build myself a nice strong strong stone structure at the edge of the bay here do a bit of fishing. I'll let you know if I catch anything exciting. Main things we're looking for is the shark hammer. Uh, I think it's called the hammer. I don't remember. Well, basically, there's two different shark weapons. Or it might work as... I don't remember. Is it one shark thing that's a pickaxe and a sword? Or is it... I don't remember. But basically, there's a pickaxe you can get from this, which is like a shark and a weapon as well. So that's what we're going to be looking for. That's yeah. Oh, I got an iron crate. Uh, these crates just, they have random shit in them. Let's see what I get. I got 21 copper ore and some healing potions. That's lovely, mate. Thank you very much. 
Oh, I got a wooden crate. Let's see what we get. Four copper bars. I take it. You never know what you could use copper for in the future. Another wooden crate. What am I going to get? Obsidian skin potions. Some other shit. Oh, yeah. Mana potions. These are actually quite good. That'll be very useful uh, later on. Right, I've officially run out of bait. Uh, I believe you can still fish, but your chances of getting something is incredibly small. So I'm going to be ending this episode here. That was one of the biggest progression episodes of any series I've ever done. We literally went from be having nothing, being poor and shit, to beating two bosses in one episode we've been fishing i've upgraded the gaff we got like loads of new villagers it's going well thank you very much for watching another episode of chippy baggy trousers on planet big bollocks subscribe if you're new around here i want to hit 1k and i'm grinding very very hard and i'll see you next time Bye bye